Uh, mm. I haven't accomplished much today at all. I managed to take a shower, my son got a bath, and I've just been trying to chase my dog around because she's eating everything. My daughter is was feeling fine, so she went grocery shopping with my husband, and I was she asked me to take care of her baby. Um, so I need she needs help, um, and I guess the only way that you can comb what she calls an America doll's hair is by getting it wet and using this special brush. So that's what we're gonna do right now because I know it would make her so happy. So I know it has to be wet but I don't wanna soak the doll's head, right? You know they have a salon? It's wild. I've never been there before. My, um, my friends took my daughter for Christmas to the America Girl Doll Store, and I watched my daughter live her every little girl dream, and it was the sweetest thing. It was so cute. Okay, let's see if I could do this. I'm gonna lay her in the sink, okay? Oh yeah, she's getting the full, full experience. Okay, I'm gonna lay her in the sink and we're gonna start from the bottom to the top. Oh boy. All right, you know what? I'm gonna lay her on the counter. Okay, my dog has been seeing God knows what because she just keeps barking at nothing. Some of this is coming out pretty good. All right. Cheddar beans, get out of my bathtub. So I was giving my son a bath today and Jet just jumped. No, stop taking the dolls. Stop taking the dolls. Cheddar beans. You have so many toys. Why must you eat doll hair? Anyways, I was giving my son a bath today and Jetter beans decided that she was gonna jump in the tubby with him. That was special seeing as she just got surgery and has stitches. Oh boy, her hair is coming out. That is not good. Why did I choose this project? Okay, well it's not perfect, but it's better than it was. Anyways, I hope she's happy. So fashion. And welcome to day four of me feeling like the inside of a butthole. Uh, and I know what you're thinking. I know you're like, why would you film for a vlog? And honestly, it's because I've been in bed with my kids for four days and I'm starting to feel like Grandpa Joe from Willy Wonka. I gotta get up, I gotta do something. I'm a doer, okay? I don't feel good. I got aches, I got chills, which I didn't have before. Yes, if you were wondering, they are in fact multiplying. So my goal for right now is just to make some breakfast and get some medicine so that I can be better to take care of the kids. Oh yeah. My dog is going stir crazy and my daughter is now sick. So yeah. Be a mom, man. Like nobody tells you. I'm a stay at home mom, right? So when I'm sick, I don't get a day off. I still have to take care of my kids. They have to go to where they're supposed to be and neither of, of them have been at school all week. I have no transportation for my daughter and you have to go in and out of the classroom to pick her up, which I can't do with my sick son or if I'm sick, right? That's not fair to the other kids and the other people. And it sucks for her because she hasn't been sick, but now she's sick, so whatever, that's fine. Um, but it's just like I've been sick and then trying to take care of the kids, right? And then going to bed when I should be resting all day but so then I go to bed and I get up and then I start to get sick and then now they're both sick and it's like I just want to take care of my babies but I can barely take care of myself so it's like power through I guess it sucks man it really sucks and this is one of the things that I was talking about in my initial channel trailer and my initial video right like everybody tells you how beautiful it's gonna be how wonderful and it is <sighs> Don't get me wrong, my kids are the most wonderful thing to ever happen to me. Also the worst thing ever happened to me because they put a magnifying glass on you as a person. And I wasn't that great of a person before I like was in my mid 20s. I was a monster. We'll get into those stories later. That might have to be behind a paywall cause I don't know. 
But anyways, these are the things that no one tells you about, right? Like nobody tells you, you know, you're sick when your kids are sick or you're sick when your kids aren't sick and they have places to be and, you know, places to go and you don't get sick days, you can't call anybody. And, uh, you know, me and my husband are not in a position where we have family around. Even if we did have family around, what would it matter? You know, they can't come over here. Why? So they can get sick too? Yeah, that doesn't work. So that everybody's just like at home and sick and then we're just like quarantining. But the little ones need stuff. And it's like, I just want somebody to give them stuff so I can rest and get better and then give them stuff. My son seems to be status quo. Like he's the same sick today that he was on Monday. My daughter is getting sick. So I don't know what that's gonna bring for her. We're supposed to have a baby shower tomorrow, which I'm not going to. Cause I'll tell you, uh, when I was pregnant and people would show up to where I was and they were sick, I wanted to punch them in the face. With my son, I was nine months pregnant and got um, the stomach flu and I wanted to die. I just remember sitting in my bed. We lived in an apartment and I was sitting in my bed, like in my underwear, nine months pregnant, puking into a bucket. Motherhood. And I remember texting my neighbor upstairs because my husband was at work and I was like, I need, you know, I called the doctors and there's like, there's nothing we can give you. There's nothing we can do. And they're like, there's some over the counter stuff that you could take. Sorry. They're like, there's some over the counter stuff that you can take to try to, you know, feel better. And I'm like, I'll do anything right now. So my neighbor went and got it and left it by the front door and I had to grab it. It did not help but she tried and I appreciate it. The other good news is I think this is just a cold, which sucks. Cause like, I haven't been this sick since I had the vid last year, 2023. I've had the vid twice now and both times it was awful, but I took a test yesterday and it was negative. So I think this is just a cold and it's just hit us. It's just hit us hard, but I'm about due, right? It's been a year since I've been like sick. Also, it doesn't help that where I live, all the snow is melting. So like everything is just like wet and mildewy and moldy and just ugh. And I am allergic to like mildew and mold. And I actually Googled for the first time this year, are you allergic? Can you be allergic to rain? And it's not so much the rain, but when the raindrops hit, it's like the spores from trees and stuff. And yes, yes. So whenever it rains, awful. And, and I get migraines, so it's like double whammy. No whammies. I don't really wanna eat, I'm not hungry, and I don't wanna be upright, but I can't take medicine if on an empty stomach because it just makes me feel even worse. So I'm gonna make some eggs and an English muffin, drink my coffee, and check back in and go from there. Wish me luck.